God acts when we pray and does more in five seconds than we can do in five years. Oh, John Piper has been slow in learning, and I am still learning the awesomeness of this amazing truth. To bow my head repeatedly and plead with God during sermon preparation, a counseling crisis perhaps on the telephone, and you don't know what to say next. I have no idea what to do with this person. A witnessing conversation. You sense absolute hardness and resistance. If there's any hope, it will be divine. You're whispering, you're praying. Planning a meeting, a meeting for planning. How many times the staff has had to stop and say, God, get us through the breakthrough, the wall that's hitting us here. Get us through. And how many times the breakthrough in sermon preparation, crisis counseling, witnessing, planning has come, has come. How many times have I felt fretful? Just join me in this now because I'm sure you're like this. Fretful that I have so much to do. There is absolutely no way it can get done today. There are deadlines out there. They have to be done. People are waiting on this. And everything almost in you says, get to your desk. Get that computer on. Get those fingers moving. Get those books open. Get thinking. Get calling. Get writing. Get working. Because you've got too much to do today. It can't get done. Get at it. And thankfully... Little by little over the years, the Lord has been teaching me, do not go to your desk first. You like that? I love Bill Hybel's title of his book, Too Busy Not to Pray. That's a very good title. So you go, and you know what happens. I have discovered it now for 23 years of ministry, and... 50 years of Christian living on my knees pleading for that impossibility a thought comes that saves me five hours of work God has ways to help you with the impossible if we would just not go to our desk first